makeup minions, I'm Kim Woody from Woody Artistry and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, please hit the subscribe button below to become part of the Woody Artistry family. I decided I wanted to do something a little bit more beauty based for Halloween and fall. I made this glam avant-garde pumpkin inspired look because I'm so stoked for fall. If you would like behind the scenes access and special perks, please feel free to support me on Patreon. Starting out this look with a primed face and I'm going to be using some scotch tape. Make sure you put it on your skin a few times to remove the stickiness, but I'm going to be using this on my face to create a really defined eyeliner and eyeshadow. I'm going to be going in the crease with some dark shadow, but I totally forgot to put on some eye primer, so I stopped and put on Urban Decay's eyeshadow primer potion. Heavily coat your lid and above your lid and blend it in. Once my lids have been thoroughly prepared for the eyeshadow, I'm going in with NYX's color Own the Night, which is like a dark purple color in the crease of my lids and just tapping it out. Then I'm using a feathery blush, <laughs> I mean brush, a feathery brush, and I'm going to be blending that out so intensely upwards and outwards. Next, I am using one of my favorite palettes by Kat Von D. I rarely ever get to use. It's called Serpentina, and I am using the orange glittery color called Hieroglyph. It is beautiful, and I've always really wanted to use it, so I applied it all over my lid and in my crease, and I'm blending it out with the black as well. Using my BH Cosmetics 120 color eyeshadow palette, which is like one of my favorite ever eyeshadow palettes, I'm going over the center of my lids and my inner corners just to create sort of a highlight. I decided I didn't quite have enough sparkles on my lids, so I really wanted a higher color payoff, so I just sprayed my brush with some MAC Fix Plus, dunked it in that hieroglyph color again, and went over my lids. But I kid you not, this palette has like the worst fallout ever, but it's so pretty. From that BH Cosmetics eyeshadow palette, I picked out a radiant yellow and put it on my inner corners, kind of just as a bright highlight to really like bring the focus to my eyes. Using my handed dandy bent brush and my Bobbi Brown black eyeliner, try saying that three times fast, I am dragging it from the outer part of my lid into the inner corner to create some super intense cat eyes. And don't worry, you can be messy because you're protected by tape. And when you take it off like this, oh, so satisfying. It is straight and it's amazing. But I had to get rid of that fallout. So I just used a makeup wipe and got rid of all that sparkly glitter. I decided it was high time to give myself a potato face, so I used my favorite foundation, Makeup Forever's Ultra HD Foundation, and a beauty blender because I swear to God, beauty blenders create the most even, flawless finish, unlike brushes, which you can get lines on it. But for the highlights of my face, I decided to mix that foundation I already mentioned with a lighter Kat Von D shade, just to kind of make the high points pop a little bit more. Like all liquid foundation, you really gotta set it with some powder, so I just did that with a fluffy brush. Ooh, so soft. With all the colors of the rainbow, I went back to my oranges and yellows, and I decided I really love colored contouring. That's what I call it. Um, I kind of was inspired by Jordan Hans for this look. I feel like she is the master at like colored contouring and things like that nature. So I really wanted to contour my entire face using orange colors and gradually darken the darker areas with an orange brown. All of the eyeshadows I am currently using to create the contour colors and the shadow colors are taken from that BH Cosmetics palette. I am keeping the oranges primarily in the areas that would have more shadow, like my temples and the creases of my cheeks. <laughs> creases of my cheeks. Uh, where you contour, basically. And anywhere you would highlight or transition from the contour color into the highlight, I am using yellow. Since I wanted this look to be glamorous, every time I added a layer of eyeshadow, I made sure to really blend it out and soften it so it had a beautiful feathered edge. And just like most things, this is a layering game. It's better to put on some shadow than put on too much and not be able to take it back. So I'm just slowly adding more and more orange to all the contoured locations, like the inner parts of my nose and under my eyebrows, the temples and the hollows of my cheeks. Then just buff it out. It's all about layer the shadow, buff the shadow out. Layer the shadow, wax on, wax off, basically. I decided that my eyelids weren't quite colorful enough, so I blended some of the orange underneath my lids on the outer corners and then transitioned it into a gradient of yellow. Then I decided to connect the yellow of my cheeks to my eyelids. 
So I had this gorgeous color of NYX liquid slate, I can't say it, liquid suede lipstick, but geez, it did not match what I was doing. So I scrapped that and moved on to something else. So using some green body paint, I decided I wanted to incorporate some cutesy little dots. And I wanted them to be green because I wanted to incorporate some part of the stem in the pumpkin. I painted my lips black here, but I'm gonna be changing it. So please ignore that. With Orange Wolf body paint, which you do not have to use, you could totally just use a liquid colored liner. I'm going to be creating some artsy fartsy little dots all around my face. I'm going to be keeping them primarily in the areas that I contoured and kind of in a triangular formation, if that makes sense. Then I am switching to white after I've finished all my orange dots and I'm adding it sparsely in the areas that I already have the pre-existing orange and green dots. You have to be really careful and precise with this step so you keep it as dots and they don't end up as weird like little sprinkle things. So wiping off my abysmal black lipstick, I am trying again. I wish I had a good black lipstick, but I don't, so I just decided to use body paint. Lando's luscious lips. Time for some epic mascara. I am using Marc Jacobs because I love how it applies and it's just so jet black, I love it. So make funny faces when you put it on, it's required. Add a little bit of colored contouring underneath your lip to make it look bigger and then spray and set it and wait for it to dry. And you're done. Thanks so much for watching this video. I always appreciate it, guys. Feel free to subscribe and also comment below. I love hearing what you guys think. I hope you're having a wonderful fall and I will see you next Saturday.